5 Mad Hatter coming at you again. I'm not on I-5 this morning though. I'm heading north on a little bitty old road going up to Port Hadlock. Yeah, you can make another name up for that. I already have. So is thousands and thousands of other people. It ain't new. <laughs> Anyhow, I digressed on that one pretty big. So, I uh, just wanted to uh, come at you this morning and talk a little bit about a video I was watching pretty damn long video I saved it in my file of videos or my playlist of videos called holy crap I put a whole bunch of holy crap videos in there so if you want to go through there and check them out you'll understand why I put in holy crap so anyhow this video is talking about stuff like what Richie from Boston talks about and talks about you know all kinds of things that uh, you know about this 5g network that's coming on board folks that 5g network if you know anything about electromagnetism and the radiation that microwaves cause you will want to get with your local authorities and stop it because they're planning on putting micro towers everywhere and if you're sensitive if you're sensitive to this electromagnetic radiation called microwaves you'll kind of understand these ain't no good and we're going to start seeing more and more brain cancers and what blew me away was some of the statistics that fella starts spouting out about the amount of brain cancers that are in a young folks between the ages of 18 and 26 it's like the number one killer of kids little kids it's the number two or number three cancer killer in little kids now I've lost two or three buddies of mine to brain cancer here in the last 10 years and I started putting the correlation to the fact that you don't put your dang cell phone up next to your head to talk you put a Bluetooth device on which isn't much better but it's better than the full-on radiation and you keep your cell phone at least at least eight inches from your body folks that's important ladies don't put your cell phone in your bra mm -mm. nope not unless you have it completely shut off completely shut off airplane mode and shut off shut all the radios off you've got three of them in your phone you've got one for the Wi-Fi one for the broadband data service called your, your Verizon service or your AT&T service, that kind of service, your, your regular cell phone service. And a third radio called the Bluetooth. Shut the phone off when you're putting it on your body. Now, this guy even goes into symptoms about what it causes and what, how you know you're becoming electromagnetically sensitive to the radiation going on around you. Now, I know a little bit about this stuff. I know a lot about this stuff. Magnets, if they're strong enough, can bend light. I've witnessed it. I've tested it. I've experimented with it. Strong enough magnets, you know, magnetic fields, can make you sick to your stomach. Yep. Ask anybody that's been in an MRI how they feel when they come out of that MRI because all that is is just one gigantic huge magnet. Yeah, magnetic fields can make you sick. I mean, just nauseous. Make you feel like you've been drinking a lot. Make you disoriented. Make your, uh, make your memory go away. I mean, for short periods of time. So, uh, you know, that... When they say it's radiation, they mean it's radiation. It's not like the ionizing radiation that comes out of the atmosphere or that comes out of, you know, nuclear reactors. Ionizing radiation it just eat you alive. But the more frequencies that they put out here in this soup that we drive through, we live in, this soup of electromagnetic, you know, uh, signals, frequencies, they're getting more and more. This 5G touts being like 22 gigahertz. 22 to 45 or 50 gigahertz. 
that's like five to 50 times more powerful than your Wi-Fi signal in your house. And they're gonna put those little antennas right outside your house. So I'm speaking about this, putting a little bit of stuff out there. I want you to go watch that video and you can find it in my playlist under holy crap it's the last one that i saved i did it today just so i could tell you guys about it now, folks when i say you've got to get with your local authorities you've got to get with your local authorities for the simple fact is that they're the last line of defense that we have and they want to roll this out and have it online between now and two years from now we don't have 10 years to fix this we might not even have two years to fix it. We have now. And I spoke about now yesterday, didn't I? <laughs> I won't get into that philosophy. You can go back and watch that video. <laughs> so on that, I, I'm a little perturbed because I, I like this technology. It's, it's really done a lot. I mean, text messages. Wow, man, I could speak to a dude that's in a meeting without interrupting the meeting and he can talk back to me, maybe not as fast as he, you know, wants to or maybe not as fast as i want him to or her and they can they can, we can have a chat without interrupting the entire meeting and that of course is as long as the the fellow that, or the gal that's in the meeting has got her ringer shut off and it don't buzz on her every time i send a text message to ask questions so if i were you folks I would start asking questions about the antennas that they're going to start putting up on your power poles, about the antennas that they're going to start putting up everywhere. And from here on out, every time I see one of those antennas, yeah, I'm going to stop. I'm going to take pictures and I'm going to put them on the YouTube because the more you know, the more you know, knowledge is power. And uh, we've got to start waking some folks up because uh, you start drowning yourself in electromagnetic radiation you're going to start feeling it. I'm telling you, you're going to start feeling it. If you're not paying attention to the way you feel right now, you better start paying attention to it. I mean, uh, for the last couple, three or four years, ever since uh, I moved into a house that's got one of those, one of those transponder boxes on it for the electrical, you know, those fancy fancy radio antennas that they put on the side of your house for the electrical company the lazy bastards that don't want to come collect the electrical data from the side of your house and ever since i moved in one of those houses i've had headaches and just a piercing ringing in my ears not tonight it's either because that would last with me everywhere i go i get out into my truck and i shut my truck which is basically a faraday cage and the ringing goes away. So I, I built a Faraday cage to go around that box. And if the electrical company doesn't like it, they can come take that damn box off and put an old one on. Because uh, it messes with me. And, I, and my wife, she just thinks I'm nuts. I'm not. I'm sensitive to this shit. I've worked around it all my life. In fact, right now I'm going to Port Hadlock to a boat building school to repair some cell phones. See, I'm sensitive to it. I finally come to the realization that uh, I'm not the only one that maybe ought to freaking make himself an aluminum foil hat. <laughs> Everybody in my family thinks I wear one anyway, so whatever. But you know, uh, the wife always wonders why I'll go out and sit in my truck, listen to the radio, have a beer. Well. I escaped that damn electric freaking buzz in my ears. And it's not a buzz, it's a high frequency, high pitched ring. It's just, it's like listening to a, a, a tuning fork, a real high pitched tuning fork. It's just constantly. And it just, it drives me just absolutely insane. I mean, not like crazy insane like where i want to go start shooting people or any stupid shit like that get it right google get it right youtube i did not say i was going to go shoot anybody don't have a plan to don't want to i love people i love critters and yeah you know when i'm hungry enough i'll go out and get me some critters to eat 
but uh, I'm not that hungry. I'm, I don't miss many meals if you can't tell. Look at that pudgy face of mine. But folks, I am telling you right now, we need to stand up and stop this. We don't need faster cell phones. We don't need higher bandwidths on our cell phones. We don't need that. We've got fast enough cell phones as it is with the 4G. 5G is just going to cook humanity. It's literally going to cook people. Now they started noticing that the electromagnetic radiation was terrible for people a long, long time ago with the folks that are radar guys from the Navy. They know it makes people sick. They know the higher the frequency, you know, 22 to 50 gigahertz, that's a hell of a lot. That's a lot in, in lots of different definitions I can tell you about. That's a lot in density of signal. That's a lot in the amount that's coming through you. And then this is what happens when it comes through you. It shuts down your biological responses. It shuts down your everything in your gut. It'll shut down your, your immunity. It, it shuts, I mean, the cells, they know this. They know this from the testing they've done on pigs and monkeys and dogs and everything else. So I'm coming to you a little perturbed about this whole 5G thing and I'm going to keep on harping on it. Probably every other video I'm going to harp on it. Get it? Harp? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, go look up harp. H-A-A-R-P. Harp. <laughs> I'm going to talk about some signals. That's some more Tesla ingenuity right there being used against our planet. So, you know, just remember what the I-5 Mad Hatter says. Go listen to Richie from Boston. He might sound like a nutball, kind of like me. Go listen to that video. The one I saved this morning in Holy Crap. Maybe listen to a few more of those too. Maybe you'll kind of understand where I'm coming from. And while you're at it, folks, like, share, and subscribe. Mostly share. This has got to get out to our friends and our families. You know, and uh, one thing else, you see me out there on the interwebs, you know, making comments and stuff. Don't judge me for my spelling. I passed English with A's. You know, I don't have a dictionary with me all the time, and sometimes spell check screws up too. I mean one word and it puts in some other word. And then I've already hit send and enter and I can't go back and edit it. So if you're gonna judge me on spelling, I don't care. I, d I don't, I don't have a major in English. I have a major in particle physics. Particle physics. One thing I had to get right was the formulas I used to derive all my other equations. I don't care about spelling. I care about formulas. I care about mathematics. That's a, that's a better freaking language anyways. Everybody that's ever been trained in mathematics understands math, but not everybody that's been trained in English understands English. So, get over it. You freaking spell check Nazis. I don't give a shit never stopped me from getting a job having a spelling error so you know get over it anyhow on that folks I don't want you to get over the 5g idea I want you to start fighting back like people that you are instead of sheep stop being sheep and until next time folks you know what I'm gonna say keep your stick on the ice